Wow, that really sucked. Facebook Buffy hit us and uh, knocked us down. Well, say la vie, not a problem. I'll edit this baby and uh, we will um, put it together real nicely and uh, upload it um, in the near future. Uh, but as I was saying, I resurrected the Mayan order and today marks the commencement of that, of that activity. Okay, so um, let me uh, make an adjustment into in something here. Just give me a minute doing a little work here. Okay, here we go. All right. So I've been preparing the website all day. That's where I was going with that. I've been preparing the website all day. And uh, <clears throat> so I got everything pretty much wrapped up. Everything is pretty much wrapped up. And uh, tomorrow I intend to have the... Uh, the official, uh, we're going to go live tomorrow, bottom line, the, uh, the website that is, we're going to go live. Okay. So, um, yeah. So on this new year, on this new year, you have some very powerful, influences and, and forces of nature that are at work. In fact, when you come to understand the calendar, when you come to understand the calendar, it's a beautiful thing because you see the order, the, the divine order and harmony of nature at work. For example, in man's calendar, everything is in disarray and disorder. The different phases of the moon take place randomly on, at random times, on, on random days, right? With our original calendar, everything happens like clockwork, right? The first day of the month is always a full moon, just like tonight. Tonight is the first day of the first month of the true year. And it is a full moon. And that happens every first day of each month in our original calendar, okay? In our original Asiatic calendar, we have 13 months, okay? And the woman is the key to that. Her menstrual cycle takes place every 28 and 1 13th days. You multiply 28 and 1 13th times 13, and you have 365 days, right? Okay, so that's how we know that our calendar is correct because it follows the divine order of the woman's menstrual cycle, right? And when your days are lined up accordingly, then every first of every month, you're going to have a full moon. No getting around it. No getting around it. And the other phases of the moon follow suit. On certain specific days, you know that the moon will be in a specific um, aspect of its cycle, like clockwork, like clockwork, you see, okay? So yeah, that's that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Our first month, our first month, well, you know what? Let me uh let me give you a little history lesson. Matter of fact, get my book. Get my book. 
I, I, I'm going to ask everybody to get my book, uh, Master Your Hand System One by Dr. Johnny Cash. It's uh, available at Amazon.com. You can, you can get your copy there. Okay. Read my book because in my book, I give a history concerning the Latin language, what is called the Latin language. Okay. And you, you learn that, uh, no European uh, originated that language. Matter of fact, no European originated any language. All languages in the world come from indigenous, autochthonous, original people, right? Okay, then, beautiful. So we learn that in the calendar that everyone is familiar with, i.e. the Gregorian calendar, some of those months are in Latin, the majority of them, right? Okay, so I did my research and came to find out that the original Asiatic calendar was in that same language. And then I found out who the people were that spoke the language that was later called Latin. And they were ancient Egyptian people who migrated to Crete, an island, off the coast of Greece under King Menos. And so the language they spoke was Minoan, all right? So in a nutshell, that's the language that the world today knows as Latin, right? And you have three priesthoods of white supremacy whose priesthood language is Latin, i.e. the Roman Catholic Church, the medical society, and the legal fraternity. All three priesthoods, the sentinels of the superstructure of white supremacy share that same priesthood language. Well, that language came from the, Manai, the Minoan people of ancient Egypt, right? Okay, so our original calendar is in that language. That's my message, that's my point, right? And so this first month, this first month is called Unistilis, right? Because in the ancient Minoan language or the Latin language, the first month would be uni, uni, as in the word unity, right? Oneness, one, uni, unistilis, exactly. So. Deanna, thank you for chiming in. We started a little bit earlier, Facebook Buffy or Mark Zuckerberg, take your pick, knocked us off, and we're doing part two of Happy New Year, okay? So, yeah, our original calendar was in the ancient language of the Minoan people. And guess what? It's, it still is, right? It still is. So this is the first month. Unistilis. It is Saturday, the first day of the first month. And the year, the year is a portion of the great year consisting of... 25,940 years. Okay, Kiki, thank you for chiming in with us. Great to see you. And that, uh, that great year represents how long it takes the 13 constellations to revolve around our earth plane. All right, again, that time frame being 25,900 and 20 years. And in that great year, in that cycle, where are we in that rotation, right? We are at the year 16,023. Yeah, 16,023. Now, if you want to subtract that from 25,920, that'll give you the number of years remaining until we return to year one of our great year. Fascinating, isn't it? Absolutely. And so there's knowledge, there is deep, deep, deep knowledge 
enshrouded in this, this knowledge of our ancient calendar. And I'm writing a book that's going to get deeper into that knowledge. It's going to take a couple of books, matter of fact, maybe three or four books, maybe more, because the knowledge is so, oh my goodness, it is so, it is so much of it. It is so rich. It is really, really so, so, so rich. And so this is, this is the first day of the new year, um, the autumn equinox also known as the fall equinox. Terrence TJ, thanks for chiming in. Uh, chiming in, great to see you. Cedric, thanks for chiming in, great to see you. Teresa, welcome back, great to see you. Yeah, we got knocked off. Facebook Buffy or Mark Zuckerberg, take your pick, knocked us off, but we're back and we're black, yeah. So, yeah, this is Saturnus. Unistilis 1, 16,023 AWC square. AWC square stands for Asiatic World Cycle. And then the square means there's another C word that follows, which is calendar. So instead of saying, instead of writing it AWCC for Asiatic World Cycle calendar, I decided to write it AWC square because there are two C's at the end of that uh, series of letters, right? Okay. And there's a science behind every word, people. There is a science behind every word. Peace, peace, my queen. And so the way that we would reckon the date is we begin with the day of the week, which is Saturday. But in the Minoan language, it would be Saturnus, right? So today is Saturnus. The first month follows, Unistilus, then the date, one, then the year, 16,023 AWC square or Asiatic World Cycle Calendar. Right, and um, each letter, each letter means something in the supreme alphabet. Right, in the supreme alphabet, each letter means something. See, here in America, the indigenous people have a tradition. And in our tradition, we have three sets of luminaries that the ancestors gave us to protect us with the supreme intelligence that we as a people need in order to make the necessary advances to take back what is rightfully ours. And this supreme intelligence is broken down in a threefold set of teachers. The first being the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey and Noble Drew Ali. They brought us the supreme knowledge. The next set of teachers was Master Farad Muhammad and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad they brought us the supreme wisdom. And the third set of teachers was the Father Allah, also known as Plans 13X, and Brother Justice, his partner in the teaching. And they brought us the supreme understanding. And so when you take supreme knowledge, supreme wisdom, and supreme understanding, and you blend them into a harmonious mix, you have what is called supreme intelligence, and that is what a god and a goddess is indwelt with, supreme intelligence. Now, within the construct of 
a, a nation of people, that becomes our supreme intelligence. And we become as unstoppable as God himself is unstoppable. We become as unstoppable as the goddess herself is unstoppable. Once we ignite, activate, and set off that supreme intelligence. And so it is in those teachings that I learned about the great year. It is in those teachings where I learned where we are in that great cycle. Because you can go online, you can Google it all day and all night, baby. I promise you, you won't find any scientists giving it up. Nobody's giving up the knowledge. They know, they know. And again, I say, they know. But no one's going to tell you where we are in the great year. Because if you know where you are in the great year, you know what to expect. So they keep that knowledge hidden from you. But I'm not going to keep it hidden from you. We are in the year 16,023 of the great year. I call it the Asarian year. The Europeans like to call it the Platonic year. That's bullshit. Plato didn't even exist. All of those so-called Greek philosophers never existed in human form. Aristotle, Anaximander, Anaximendes, Periclides, Heraclitus, Homer, Pythagoras, none of them existed in human form. You say, wait a minute, Johnny Cash. No, man, stand down. You got to be shitting me. No, you got to be shitting me. Well, my Greek philosopher, my Greek uh, professor, my Greek, uh, my philosophy professor told me that they existed and he has a PhD in philosophy. Do you have a PhD in philosophy, Johnny Cash? I don't need a damn PhD in philosophy. I got common sense which Voltaire said about 500 years ago, is not so common anymore. Well, if common sense was not so common 500 years ago, how much more so is common sense not so common? All right? I don't need a PhD to ask a PhD in philosophy that if Aristotle and Homer and Anaximendes and Plato and Anaxagoras and Anaximander and Heredicles and Thales wrote all of these books. Riddle me this, bat people. What language, what alphabet did they use? What alphabet did these Greek, so these so-called Greek philosophers use to write their book? Because the Greeks didn't come into contact with an alphabet until Alexander of Macedonia, also known as Alexander the Greek, pseudonym Alexander the Great, we don't consider him great at all. He invaded ancient Egypt in 332 BCE, right? And at that time, that was the first time that they came into contact with a written script because when they forced the Greek language upon the ancient Egyptians, they selected one alphabet from their three alphabets which is called the phonetic script, and they applied it to the Greek language. And that is why the world is calling that particular script Greek, because it's the script of the ancient Egyptians that was applied to the Greek language. No, the Greeks never had an alphabet and don't have one today. They were illiterate savages. They were raggedy, funky, didn't even know A, B, C, D, E, F, G, how the hell could 200 years or 300 years or four or five, 600 years prior to that, how could anyone have written a book? Any one of them have written a book? The Minoans, yes, but they never called themselves Greek. They called themselves Minoans after King Menos, the ancient Egyptian king who migrated over to the island of Crete about 5,000 years ago during a time in history that's known as the ancient Egyptian migration period, you see. So you done barked up the right tree, baby, if you're going to come to me with that bullshit about some Greek philosophers. Don't know much about history. Don't know much <laughs> philosophy. Fuck a philosophy. 
you know? Okay, so this is what it's all about. It's all about cosmogony, which is the science of divine order, right? It's all about ontology, which is the master science of divine mind. The highest science in the universe is called ontology. There's a heavy, heavy science behind that name, and I can't go there tonight. You know, like I said, I'm not going to be before you long, but I am going to be before you strong. And this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. I want everybody who wants this special report from the mind order, it's going to be free. I want you to leave your email address in the comments section. I'm going to send you a free report because it was my intention to have our website up and running and go live tonight with the website, but it didn't happen. It'll happen tomorrow, but I was not going to let that stop me from going live on the first day of the year. Hell no, I was not going to do it. I was not going to do it, right? So what I am going to do, though, I'm going to show you what I was working on. You see that pretty man right there? That's, that's yours, true. That's me right there. Hi, Carolyn. Thanks for chiming in. Kiss the babies for me. Right? Okay. So, yeah. So the website is going to tell you when you when you when we go live and I give you the link tomorrow, at the top of it is going to say discover how a 70-year-old secret society has enabled Dr. Johnny Cash, a 40-year Illuminati member, to create a priesthood of millionaires. That's my mission, people. That is my mission. And the ancestors have have given me the secret teachings of a 70-year-old secret society to make it happen. Yes, the moon is full tonight. The moon is full on every first day of the original month. You see, on the first on the first day of the true calendar months, the moon is always going to be full. You'll never find that in the phony calendar, in the Gregorian calendar. But in our ancient calendar given to us by the Minoans, every first of each of the 13 months in our lunar calendar, there is a full moon. Absolutely. You can set your watch by it, baby. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, again, today's date is Saturnus. Unistilis the first, sixteen thousand twenty three AWC square, which stands for the Asiatic World Cycle Calendar, because this was the the rhythm that the whole world was on. People in ancient times, we were all on the same rhythm. We didn't have a lot of different calendars. There was only one because there was only one people. There was only one rhythm, only one culture, you see. And if you would buy my book, Master Your Hand, System One by Dr. Johnny Cash, I talk about that one culture and how all of us are originally of, meaning from that one culture. Yes, I don't care what your nationality is. There's only one culture. I don't give a damn what color your skin is, baby. There's only one culture. I don't have a problem with different colors. I got a problem with different cultures. Anti-cultures is what they really are. Fucking anti-culture. I'm all about the one culture, the autochthonous culture, the God culture, the divine culture, you see. And in my book, I give the history of that. I talk about how one culture passed the knowledge to all nations. Many nations, one culture. Yes. Yes. Now, the culture, once it dominates your character and your personality, can supersede your little petty nation. And we become, in culture, one nation. One nation under a groove getting down just for the funk of it. How do you like me now? Yes. Yes, you know what? I'm gonna take a pause.
for the cause. I intended to do this when I got started, but I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do our, our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the grind. I woke up earlier than fuck, and now I'm going to get mine. One nation under a groove getting down just for the funk of it. And if you like it, I love it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. That's how we're doing it. Yeah. Tisha, thanks for chiming in. Don, thanks for chiming in. Great to see you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I want everybody to leave me their email address in the comment section. If you want this free report, grab my free report. It's called The Revelation Secret. The Revelation Secret, which has enabled the rich and powerful for generations and will continue for generations to come, is now available for your examination. Isn't that fascinating? Yes. Yes. Diana, thank you for chiming in, sweetie. Okay? So, in this report, Tell you what you're going to get in this report. Power secret number one, the master key to wealth. Power secret number two, the master key to great sex and vibrant health. Power secret number three, the master key to tapping the mysteries of the universe. But not only that, you'll also receive surefire information enabling you to drastically bring about insane revolutionary change in your life within the next 24 hours. How do you like me now? Hi, Scott. Thanks for chiming in, sweetheart. Yeah. Leave your email address in the comment section, everybody. I'm going to send, I'm going to email this report to you tonight. Okay. If my queen lets me, I'm going to email <laughs> no later than tomorrow morning. I'm going to email this report to you. You're going to love this report. You need this knowledge. You need this knowledge. Yes. The kind you don't get in college. Yes, I'm going to look out for y'all. I'm going to look out for y'all. You know, I'm laying the foundation for greatness. I'm laying the foundation for change, radical change in your life, world, and affairs. The mind order under my leadership is going to make available to you a free lesson every, every, how are we going to do this now? How are we going to do this? Every month, yes, a free lesson. Yes, yes. And again, I say yes, okay? And uh, we're going to go, we're going to do webinars once a month to go over the lessons, all right? And we're just going to throw down. We're going to throw down. I love y'all. Y'all are my people, and it is time for change. And it takes new knowledge to bring about new change. Not doing the same old thing, expecting to get different results. No, that's our, that's 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 not change. No, you're going through changes, but you ain't changing shit. No, you're not. Mm -mm. No, no, you're not. You're not. Okay. So I want everybody to grab my report. All right. I want everybody to grab my report, leave your email address in, in the comments section or inbox it to me, however you want to do it. I'll honor, I'll honor either approach that you decide to take in this uh, situation, all right? And uh, I'll get my report right over to you. It's called The Revelation Secret. Powerful information. Oh, my God. Powerful information. And it's going to be your jump start to the mind lessons. And once I get everything uh, at full throttle with respect to the mind orders uh, new website, um, you know, everyone who signs up will receive the lessons like clockwork. I'm not going to ask you for any money, not for the monthly lessons, you know. There's an up, there's a, there's an upgrade. There's a, there's a higher level of study that involves money, but I have to make these lessons available to the world because that's what I was born to do. I was incarnated in this life to teach masters, 
to train people, to teach people who are masters, all right? And so in order to do that, I have to make master teaching available to them, you see. And just because someone is a master doesn't mean that they have figured their entire life out. Just because a person is a master doesn't mean that they don't have a couple of idiosyncrasies that may make you feel kind of funny when you come around them because they're the master, you know. They are the master and, uh, you know, mastery is not what people think it is. It doesn't mean that the person has it all figured out. What it does mean is, though, that that person has the ability to transmit mastery to others. They have a gift of mastery. Their life may be crazy, but when someone else needs them, they are there in rare form and masterfully there and they are making shit happen and getting shit done. That is a master, you see. And I'm called and I'm born to teach those people who although they have the gift of mastery, haven't gotten it all figured out yet. That's why I'm here, to help you get it all figured out. That's right. And that's why we're all here, to help one another get it all figured out. So come together right now over me. I'd have pulled that, I'd have pulled that thing up. Let me see if I can pull that thing up right now. Let me see if I can pull that up right now. Cause that, that, that's a mean joint right there. That's a mean joint right there. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that, that, that thing right there is mean. Let's see if I can get that. Can I get that? Can I get that? Let me see if I can get that. Let me see if I can get that. And uh, this disclaimer, I do not own the copyrights to this song. No, I don't. Bam! Who's your daddy? Daddy is. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh huh. Talk about it. Yeah, baby. I'm doing that damn thing. Huh. What you talking about? Uh. Mm, one time You don't hear me Yeah We in the building up in this bitch Huh Yeah Yeah What Huh Talk about Come on, baby. Uh-huh. Yeah. Get fucking with it. Uh-huh. Church. Saturday. 
Saturday night funk in your face. You don't hear me. I ain't playing. Oh, he covered it, Diana. He covered that thing, baby. And it was the world's greatest cover up too, baby. That's right. Fuck it up, Mike. Yes, baby. You got that right. That's right. Pose, goddammit. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's true. That's right. Yeah. Come together right now over me. Drop your email address in the comment section or inbox it to me so that you can receive my free report. Compliments, love. The Mayan Order. Your to a call. Your okay, there we go. All right, let me keep talking. All right, that's what they taught us at Columbia College. No dead air, keep talking. All right, okay. Well, guess what? Okay, listen, I'm not going to um, take it another mother father. I think we've covered enough for tonight. I believe I've done honor to the ancestors who uh, enabled me to come your way, come into the privacy, meet with you and greet you in the privacy of your home on this, the autumn equinox, the night of the autumn equinox and the first night of the new year and of the true year, that being Saturnus, Unistilus the first, 16,023. AWC square, Asiatic world cycle calendar. So in closing, listen, 
Let's come together. We do that by getting in the same rhythm, right? Let's dance together. May I have this dance? Okay, so we will learn the science of our ancient calendar. And in so doing, we will step back into the right rhythm. What rhythm is that? It is the rhythm of the universe. Absolutely. It is the rhythm of the beings of the earth plane. It is the rhythm of the mother of all creation who gave us the time who gave us the seasons, who gave us the calendar, right? All right, well, listen, it's been a ball, y'all. J-Ron, my man, what up, though? It's great to see you, baby. Okay, so with no further ado, do this for me. Again, drop me your email address, either in the comment section or inbox it to me, so I can get this mind report to you, right? I want to get this to you. I want to get it to you. All right, so you can have my free report. This is the website I've created. <clears throat> I just have to iron out a couple of technical details so that we can go live with it, right? Okay, so uh, yeah, that's, that's about it, okay? So right now I have a date with a very precious, beautiful, um, and oh my God, tantalizing young queen. And so uh, she's my partner in crime, y'all. Uh, I'm her client and she's my bond. So uh, we're in this together. So listen, give me what I need and I'll give you what you need, right? I need your email address. I'll get this report right over to you. Okay. So um, yeah. Okay. Well, I tell you what, <clears throat> As always, take what I've shared tonight to heart, and I promise you that I will absolutely see you, and yes, ma'am, and yes, sir, I really do mean you at the top. Good night, and God bless.